What's up Money Masters? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into the truth that schools, governments, and the mainstream media don't want you to know about how money really works and how to build your fortune from scratch. This isn't the usual advice about getting good grades, going to a fancy college, and working your way up the corporate ladder. That path is great for a steady paycheck, but it won't make you a millionaire. The real way to wealth is different than what you've been told. It requires going against the grain, thinking for yourself, and using proven money-making strategies the rich have used for centuries. I promise that if you watch this entire video and take action on what I teach, your financial life will never be the same. Let's get started. Misconception 1. Governments control the economy. One of the biggest lies we're told is that the government, the Federal Reserve, and other central banks completely control the economy and the value of money. While they do have an impact, there are countless other factors at play. The truth is that the government can't simply create wealth and prosperity by decree. If they could, we'd all be millionaires. The global economy is made up of billions of people making financial decisions. Prices are based on supply, demand, speculation, technology, demographics, resource scarcity, disasters, and countless other ever-changing dynamics. No politician or bureaucrat can control all those variables. The economy is far too complex. Sure, governments have some powerful tools like setting interest rates and tax rates, printing money, and regulating industries. But there are always unintended consequences when they interfere with organic market forces. Don't believe the myth. The government can't deliver the financial freedom you seek. But you can claim it for yourself with the right mindset and strategies. Misconception 2. The rich are greedy and dishonest. Another big lie is that all rich people must be greedy, lying, cheating scoundrels to get so wealthy. You might assume they inherited their money or stole it somehow. While some wealthy people did get lucky through inheritance or shady practices, most millionaires are self-made and worked hard for decades to earn their fortune legally and ethically. People like Steve Jobs, Oprah Winfrey, Howard Schultz, and Sarah Blakely built massive wealth from nothing but a great idea, determination, and providing value to consumers. Having wealth doesn't necessarily mean you are greedy or immoral. In fact, the skills and mindset required to build a fortune from scratch often include valuable traits like persistence, creativity, leadership, and serving others. A free market economy rewards those who provide goods and services people desire and are willing to pay for at competitive prices. There is nothing unethical about building a profitable business around a great product or service. Yes, some wealthy people use unethical loopholes and manipulation to gain an advantage but most achieve their success fairly by meeting the needs of their fellow humans. Before judging all rich people, remember that many worked their way up from poverty and faced failures along their journey, and plenty now donate to charity or reinvest to create more jobs and economic growth. Bust this myth in your mind. Wealth itself does not make someone greedy or evil. You can become wealthy while keeping your principles intact. Now let's talk about who really controls and influences our financial system. It's not only the government. Who really controls the money? While the government isn't the only factor, it's true that a few key groups have a lot of sway over the global economy and your financial future. Here are the major power players. Central banks. The Federal Reserve in the US sets monetary policy, interest rates, and regulates banks. This impacts how much money is circulating and its value. Other nations have similar central banks. Big banks, institutions like JP Morgan, Bank of America, and Citigroup control trillions in assets and loans to consumers and businesses. They influence interest rates, credit, and exchange rates. Investment firms, BlackRock, Vanguard, Berkshire Hathaway, and other massive asset management companies control billions in investments and retirement funds. This gives them influence on the stock market and economic growth. Billionaires and institutions, the ultra-rich like Warren Buffett and giant investment funds hold trillions in assets. Their decisions on buying, selling, and valuations impact the broader market. OPEC, the organization of petroleum exporting countries, controls a large chunk of the global oil supply. Cutting or boosting production affects oil prices worldwide. Technology, advances in AI, automation, biotech, manufacturing, and computing transform industries and employment at a staggering pace. Technological disruptions impact markets massively. As you can see, governments aren't the only players. But even these powerful institutions can't control every market force or financial outcome. The takeaway is that you can still thrive financially through wisdom, prudence, and self-reliance. 
understanding who influences the economy helps you make smarter money moves. Now let's talk about how to increase your financial wisdom so you rely less on the experts and institutions. How to take control of your financial future. While the government and Wall Street have power, true financial freedom comes down to taking control of your money yourself. Here are the keys. First, you need financial literacy, actually understanding money rather than just blindly following advice. Read books and blogs, listen to podcasts, watch YouTube. Get a real financial education, not just what your school taught you. Next, set clear and measurable financial goals. Do you want to be debt-free? Have passive income? Buy a house? Retire early? Get ultra-specific on the numbers so you know exactly where you're aiming. Also, build a solid foundation before investing and taking risks. Have an emergency fund, pay off expensive debts, and have adequate insurance in place. Make sure your core finances are strong. When you do invest, diversify into different asset classes, stocks, bonds, real estate, precious metals, digital currencies. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Spread out risk, and don't expect to get rich quick. Building lasting wealth takes decades of patience, perseverance, and sticking to your financial plan through thick and thin. Don't jump ship when markets plunge. Ride out the storms. The government and big banks prefer you remain financially illiterate, dependent on them, buried in debt, and stuck in their system. Break free from their matrix by educating yourself, setting audacious wealth goals, building a solid financial base, diversifying your assets, and developing an unshakable mindset to weather any monetary storm. Now that we've covered the essentials of taking control, let's debunk a few more sneaky myths the powers that be used to keep you broke. Myth. School will teach you all you need to know. We're told from childhood that going to school, getting good grades, and getting a degree is the path to financial success. But it's rarely that simple. While education has value, the truth is that traditional schooling does not actually teach you crucial real-world skills related to money, business, and wealth creation. School gives you a foundation of literacy, math, science, and basic skills. All valuable, but the curriculum is often outdated and misaligned with the modern economic landscape. Just studying hard and acing exams will not translate into career success like it used to. And schools completely fail when it comes to teaching personal finance, investing, entrepreneurship, sales, marketing, self-discipline, communication, and a growth mindset. The rigid go to school, get a job, Buy a house, save 10% in a 401k, retire at 65 formula is outdated. It simply won't cut it in today's world to build real wealth. You have to take education into your own hands. Read books, take courses, listen to podcasts, network and find mentors to get the specialized up-to-date knowledge schools aren't teaching. Schooling checks a box, but genuine financial wisdom requires motivated self-education. Don't swallow the myth that school provides a complete education, it does not. Take charge of your own learning. Knowledge is financial power. Myth. Getting rich is only for the top 1%. Another insidious lie meant to discourage you is that only a tiny fraction of elite people can ever attain substantial wealth. It's for somebody else, but not for you. While there's some truth that the wealthy have advantages, getting rich is not a total pipe dream. Far more than 1% of people achieve true wealth through property ownership, entrepreneurship, investing, and specialized high-income skills. Anyone willing to develop financial intelligence, take calculated risks, delay gratification, and persevere for decades can build significant wealth long-term. Sure, not everyone will become a billionaire, but with the right mindset and strategies, the majority of people can achieve millionaire status if they truly desire it, educate themselves, and master proven wealth creation methods. With the power of compound interest and the booming potential of crypto, amassing a fortune is more accessible than ever for regular people. While quick riches in a year are extremely rare, building it slowly over 30 years is not. Myth. You must go into massive debt to get rich. A common misconception is that all wealthy people have huge mortgages, credit card balances, and business loans. This myth claims that going into deep debt is mandatory to build wealth. While using leverage wisely can accelerate growth, and even billionaires use debt, the risks of overborrowing are massive. Interest costs drain cash flow over time. Too much debt can utterly ruin you during market downturns. The smart approach is using conservative debt only within your means. Never borrow more than you can realistically repay from your income streams, and have assets or equity to offset your liabilities. 
numerous millionaires got rich slowly by funding growth from business profits and cash flow rather than ballooning debt. They avoid over leverage, build cash reserves, and maintain strong credit ratings for when good debt is needed. Yes, some risk in debt is often required for large deals or capital investments. But financially literate people use it cautiously and strategically. They don't accumulate endless consumer debt on credit cards at 20% interest to fund a lavish lifestyle. They borrow prudently only when they can use debt as a tool to earn higher returns than the interest costs. You don't need massive debt to get rich. Frugality, saving, and reinvesting profits over decades can make you a fortune too. Wealthy people use debt carefully, not recklessly. Myth, the rich don't pay taxes. A common complaint you hear is that the rich use elaborate loopholes to avoid paying taxes while average people cannot escape the tax man. This myth claims the wealthy pay nothing. In reality, the top 10% of earners in the US pay over 70% of all income taxes collected. The top 1% alone pays 40% of all taxes. The bottom 50% of earners pay just 3% of taxes. Wealthy people do use legal tax minimization strategies like deductions for investments, charitable giving, and business expenses, but most still pay significant taxes each year. They just pay accountants to ensure they don't overpay. Strategically minimizing taxes is something all of us should do within the law to hold on to more of our hard-earned money. As long as you report all income ethically, you can also take deductions and use loopholes the rich use. For example, by investing in real estate and businesses, the wealthy earn favorable tax treatment compared to employees. By learning tax strategies, you can lower your tax bill too. The reality is that the rich pay the vast majority of income taxes in America, but they often pay a lower percentage of their total earnings because they earn through assets, capital gains and corporations rather than salary. You can do the same by acquiring assets, learning tax rules, and using legal deductions. This enables you to keep more of your wealth rather than handing it to the IRS. Now that we've busted some major money myths, let's talk about the strategies you can use to build your wealth sustainably from scratch. How to build wealth in the real world. Degrees and credentials won't make you rich, but you know what will. Mastering these wealth building skills and strategies proven to work in the real world. Strategy one, track income, expenses, and savings diligently. The first critical strategy on the path to financial freedom is achieving complete clarity and awareness around your current money situation. This requires rolling up your sleeves and doing a deep dive into the nitty gritty details. Audit your bank and credit card statements with the intensity of a forensic accountant investigating fraud. Track every dollar that enters or exits your accounts like an obsessed detective following paper trails. Document all income streams flowing into your life, no matter how small, whether it's your regular paycheck, cash gifts from grandma, or spare change found in the couch. Record it all. On the flip side, shine a spotlight on your spending habits. Categorize and tag every expense. Hunt down those sneaky recurring subscriptions that nibble away at your account. Construct a detailed map of your outflows so you can find the leaks and plug them. Finally, regularly calculate your net worth. This provides a 30,000-foot view of your financial terrain. Monitoring shifts in your overall wealth over time will illuminate the impact of both income and spending behaviors. In summary, know your financial position inside and out. Hyper-awareness through rigorous tracking, recording, and analysis sets the stage for taking intentional control of your money. Get intimate with the numbers. They hold the secrets to your freedom. Strategy 2. Invest money rather than just saving in the bank. Forget savings accounts with their pitiful 0.01% interest. If you want your money to work for you, it's time to invest that cash and put it on steroidal growth. Step 1. Open a Roth IRA and max out contributions every year. Dump that money into low-fee index funds on autopilot. Watch your nest egg grow exponentially over decades without paying a cent in taxes. Chiching. Step 2. Contribute to your 401k, especially if your employer matches. It's like finding free money on the sidewalk. Don't leave it behind. That match contribution is a guaranteed 100% return, baby. Step 3. Open a brokerage account and invest in a diversified stock portfolio. Stocks have returned 10% yearly for the past century. With some smart investing, you can ride that wave to Millionaire Beach. In summary, take control of your financial destiny. Invest early, invest often, and let the miraculous power of compounding work its magic. Your future retired self would be sipping margaritas and thanking you. Strategy 3. To understand debt and leverage it responsibly. 
The third pillar of financial success is mastering the intricate dance of debt. Approach credit not as a temptation, but a tool to further your goals. Be judicious in taking on debt, lest it become a ball and chain. Seek out low interest loans to purchase appreciating assets, especially real estate, the time-tested escalator to wealth. Monitor rates closely and refinance when appropriate to reduce interest costs. Slay high-rate credit card balances by transferring to lower cost options. Know the tax code inside and out to maximize deductions for mortgages and business borrowing. Wield debt intelligently to amplify your mini's muscle and building assets. But tread carefully and maintain control, for debt is a wild stallion that can buck its rider. With prudence and wisdom, it can carry you far. Without restraint, it can drag you into an abyss. Master its power, and it will fuel your financial freedom. Succumb to its temptations, and it will leave you broken. Strategy 4. Developing Exceptional Problem-Solving Abilities The fourth pillar is cultivating world-class problem-solving skills. Running a business is an endless obstacle course. Each day brings new challenges yearning to trip you up. To thrive, you must become a solutionary, crafty, gritty, resourceful, and tireless. When problems arise, pounce on them like a panther. Circle them from all angles in search of weaknesses. Brainstorm solutions relentlessly until you find the perfect one. Never accept defeat. There are always answers for the taking. Develop a beginner's mind, hungry to learn anything instantly. Absorb information like a sponge to gain an edge. Be agile and adaptable, ready to change course on a dime. Problems are merely opportunities in disguise. Each one conquered expands your capabilities. With persistence and ingenuity, you can solve anything. Crisis reveals the true problem solvers, those who remain calm and focused. While others get frustrated, you spy possibilities, stay hungry for challenges, and you will always prevail. Where others see obstacles, you spy a chance to unlock your potential. Strategy 5. Maintaining a strong reputation for years. The fifth pillar is cultivating a sterling reputation over decades. Your name rings like money itself. Credit pristine as a new coin, unmod by late payments or debts. Discipline and reliability, your hallmarks, tasks finished early and flawlessly. Quality always top shelf, never cutting corners. Integrity of a saint, your word stronger than oak. Year after year building trust and respect. Partners know you perform without fail. Customers feel in safe hands. Colleagues admire your work ethic. Even competitors tip their hats. Your reputation opens doors wide. Loans approved on a handshake. Investors jockey to fund your latest venture. Top firms dangle lucrative job offers. Vendors clamor for your business. All because your name means excellence, dependability, and virtue. Your reputation is a vault, guarded zealously. With each victory for truth, it grows. Like a snowball gathering size over decades. Become known for unconditional honesty, for over-delivering on promises, for grace under pressure. Do that persistently, and your reputation becomes your crown. It attracts opportunity and wealth on autopilot. By standing tall for what's right, you build an impregnable fortress over time. A reputation for integrity is the supreme competitive advantage. Strategy 6. Weighing risks and rewards and making informed choices. Go all in only after calculating risk versus reward. Weighing potential gains alongside possible losses primes you for prospering decisions. Numbers never lie. Run the figures before launching any financial endeavor. Steer clear of actions where the downside eclipses the upside. Aim for balanced bets that stack the odds in your favor. Opt for undertakings where the reward justifies the risk. Make choices with intent, focused on achieving your objectives. Ensure any risk you accept also leaves room to grow your gains. Invest in moves that yield returns exceeding what you stake. Master these six wealth building skills, financial tracking, investing, strategic debt use, problem solving, reputation building, and risk analysis. Applying these will grow your money exponentially more than just working and penny pinching. But ultimately, building wealth over decades comes down to desire, hunger, and persistence. You get rich by never giving up on creating abundance. Stay hungry. Keep going. The longest journey begins with a single step in the right direction. Your financial freedom awaits. Now go claim it. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what money topics you want me to cover next. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the knowledge. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.